Father, thank you, Lord Jesus, for your grace, your mercy, your favor, and the gift of life. We appreciate your love and your care upon our lives. It is for this reason that we acknowledge your presence and declare you alone, the only true and living God, God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. It is only you we honor and worship. Father, whatever we are doing, it is the glory of God, the Father, the King of kings, the Lord of lords, God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. We honor you and glorify you with all our heart, with all our strength, and with all our minds. In Jesus Christ's name, amen. amen. You may be seated. Ask your neighbor, say neighbor, what are you doing here on earth? Are you doing the purpose of God? This is the question I want to ask you this morning. Are you really doing the purpose of God? Here on earth, there's nothing that you can get for free. Anything that you want to be, something has to be released. You need to pay something. Meaning, Whatever you are doing here on earth, know for sure that the purpose of God is supreme over your life. It's more important than your agenda. It's more what? Than your what? I want you to know this. Whether a believer or a non-believer, as long as you are here on earth, know for sure that you are here to serve the purpose of God. Even if you want to be a professor, whatever you want to become, know for sure that God had the purpose of bringing you to this life. This is my question that I posed on Wednesday. And I want to pose it to you again. What are you doing here on earth? Can you answer that question? What are you doing? Is there anyone who can answer me? Hmm? Am I alone in this house? It's like you don't know anything about life. What are you doing here on earth? Hmm? Let's go to Job. Job chapter 1. You answer me. I will not let you go without answering me. You answer me today. Whether you like it or not, you answer me. Why must you remain quiet? Hmm? Job chapter 1 verse 1 I'll just read 1, 2 then jump from there to 6 and 8 then call you from there I'll take you again to Job chapter 2 but first of all let me take you to Job chapter 1 verse 1 in the land of Uz, there lived a man whose name was Job. This man was blameless and upright. He feared God and shined evil. He had seven sons and three daughters. Verse 3, he owned 7,000 sheep, 3,000 camels, 5,000 yoke of oxen and 500 donkeys 
and he had a large number of servants. He was the greatest man among all the people of the East. Verse 6. This is where my point is. One day, the angels came to present themselves before the Lord. And Satan also came with them. Verse 7. The Lord said to Satan, Where have you come from? Satan answered the Lord, From roaming throughout the earth, going back and forth on it. Verse 8, then the Lord said to Satan, Have you considered my servant Job? There is no one on earth like him. He is a blameless and upright man who feared God and shined evil. Let me end with verse 9. Does Job fear God for nothing? Satan replied. Does Job fear God for nothing? You can lead and understand why Satan, you know, answered God like this in verse 10. You have, have you not put a hedge around him and his household and everything he has? You have blessed the work of his sons so that his frogs and heads are spread throughout the land. That was the challenge which came from the mouth of Satan. Now, take note of this statement. Job found himself a blameless man in the eyes of God. He was a man like you and me. He was a human being like you and me. But he found himself a blameless man, an upright man. Because of what? The Bible says that this man feared God. Despite this man being liege and so great and with so many workers, he did not put himself in the position to be equal with God Almighty. He reduced himself to the level where he can honor God and glorify him with all his wealth. He had seven sons, three daughters, thousands of, you know, animals, uncountable workers. But he did not forget what was the purpose for him to be created as a human being. He did not forget the reason why he was created to be a human being and brought to this life. He knew what he was, you know, doing. Despite this man being rich with a huge responsibility, he will find time to honor God. If you read the Bible, his children likes, you know, these celebrating things. They used to, you know, make, how do you go this one? Parties with their friends and their sisters. The father will go behind and sacrifice animals. He, according to him, he thought maybe my children will sin against God through their thoughts and their activities. He will sacrifice on behalf of the children. And the children were not even aware that the father is doing this. Because this man was a God-feared person. What are you doing here on earth? This is my question. Are you greater than Job? Are you richer more than this man? Are you busy more than this man? He did not neglect his responsibility as a human being representing the will of God in his life. No matter how good you are, there is another level that we need to reach for as a good person. Meaning, good things will never be enough. Praise the Lord. 
Praise the Lord. Then the Bible says that one day the angels came to present themselves before the Lord. And Satan, an invited guest, appeared again. To do what? Satan was not happy the way, you know, Job was, you know, handling his life. He was not happy. He looked at him and said, this man is blessed. He has got a lot of things, children, money, whatever. Hmm? Let me go and talk to the one who gave it. In fact, he tried, but he could not do anything because God Almighty was in charge over Job's life. The Bible says that he appeared and God asked him, Satan, where are you from? He said, from roaming. From what? He said, from roaming throughout what? The earth. Going forth and coming back on it. Doing what? Nothing. Then the Lord said, Have you considered my servant? If God can give the testimony on your behalf, what kind of life are you living here on earth? What are you doing here on earth? God is the one who is now defending your case. Minus your knowledge. Have you considered my servant Job? This is God now talking to Satan in verse 8. There is no one on earth like him. He is a blameless. A blameless man, meaning nothing that can mislead Job's life. He was more of God Almighty than material things. Hmm. Satan answered him and he said, Does Job fear God for nothing? This is why, even if you are a child of God, remember that these trials will still, you know, follow you and hammer you. But the defender of your case is watching everything. As long as you know what you are doing here on earth. That is my question. What are you doing here on earth? Because we are more of this, you know, fleshly things. Ukupa, Habana, Ukuina, Mupangeshina. There is time for everything. Even if you become rich today, what is next? He said you have given him all these things. You have blessed the work of his hand. And you have put protection over his properties. Including his children. Then God said okay. Because he knew the heart of Job. is not a man who be carried away with material things. The way you treasure material things. You give your creator 2% of your time. You give Satan 98%. And then you are claiming to be a child of God. God is not interested in these material things. All this copper that you see belongs to him. God stood for Job. He entered his heart to make sure that nothing and nothing that will change his confession. Because God has already declared Job as a blameless man. He finds himself in that position through what? The fear of God. You fear human beings more than God Almighty. Hmm. Are you there? Does Job fear God for nothing? Satan replied. Meaning, Satan was like, Job, 
you know, to be like this is because of all these wealth that God has blessed him. If God can permit me to take away all this, then you will see that Job will turn against God. Then God said, go ahead and do everything. Because of time, there are so many things we, we, you know we need to learn from this book. He went ahead and killed all, including the children. What can make you to change your confession? When you lose something that you treasure so much, when you see your business going down, when your body is afflicted with pain, and yet you are a tither, you are a worshiper, you are a committed member of that church, but sickness is left, light, and center. All your children, your husband, yourself, tell me if you, you still continue confessing that Jesus is Lord. If not, of you start asking numbers for people who can pray more than the way you pray. You talked about the prophet in the... Uh, uh, number which doctors number you are a child of God, a blameless child of God, but Satan is on your neck. Not by his power. He has been permitted to say, go and do whatever you can do. But that one is my son. You do nothing. I'm in charge. I'm in control. Go and collect all the material things that you think is what makes Job to worship me. Satan went and destroyed everything. Job still remained focused. He never changed his confession. When you see sickness in your body, when you are discovered with cancer, HIV, whatever problem, I will still continue worshiping Jesus the way you used to. When you are sacked from your employment without money in your pocket. When your marriage became sour, will you go to church to go and sweep the house of God? What type of prayer are you going to pray now? When things became sour. Even if you are a child of God, know for sure that trials will still follow you. It doesn't mean that those trials are coming, you know, to destroy you. No. To show Satan that it is not what you think about this person, but what God has put in his life. When money is no longer there or disappeared, you know your feelings. Oh, you'll be gasping as if you're about to leave the world. Why? You trust material things more than the giver of what? Material. This is why I'm asking you this question. What are you doing here on earth? Because whatever you are doing, don't forget that the job or the life that you are doing is either you are saving Satan or you are saving God Almighty. If you are saving God Almighty, God will be there to defend your case. If you don't know what you are doing, anything, anything will come along the way and disfocus you. Because you don't know what you are doing. That is the question. If you don't know what I'm talking about, every child of God must know the life that you are living. Don't just live because you are a human being. Don't just live because you are working. Because there is money. You are married. You are promoted. You are doing very fine. No. Know what you are doing. Even in business, know what you are doing. Because the life that you are carrying is not your life. Job was busy. His children was busy. Celebrating. Eating. What and what? Disaster. Boom. But the father was aware because the spirit of God was upon his life. Come on, people of God. I want you to know this. If you don't know what you are doing here on earth, Satan will capture you and prepare it. God must be part of your life. 
even when things become sour, he will provide, you know, enough strength for you to overcome that situation. Even in sickness, you'll be there to tell to say, you are not going to die because of this sickness. Yes. Others have gone, but for you, no, you'll not go. Let's go to verse uh, chapter 2. I'm jumping. This is after Satan went and destroyed the business of what? Job. He came back again because he realized that the man is still, you know, holding on to his faith. He went back to God again. Then the Lord said to Satan, you have considered my servant Job. There is no one on earth like him. He is blameless and upright. A man who fear God and shines evil. And he still maintains his integrity. Although you incited me against him to ruin him without any what reason. After attacking Job, Job tasun Kenya china katira kuchete kelo satana frungana. Devonga kumoru piolo alanda, thank you, Jesus. He's confused. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Satan is confused. What kind of a man is this? He will not ask you any question. He will go and ask your father, the defender of your case. But now Pankanda. But Cham Yoku Karipakaidi, honestly speaking, Wapoke Nyoto Kashon says Shiri Panse. Now Umuntunga Takwe Telesa, Pantu Avantola Fena BP, Napambush Fienga, Imo Kumva Taka Bushkalaka in a Fumashi Kafwa. Ah, Chachibashan, Peraqua Mesha Talala, Kabushikamo. I don't know some Vatim Yoto Kashon said Tashan, but Umuntuale Moneka Fetchmochine. Satana was confused to say, what kind of a man is this? Upon him by skin forward. He went ahead and he strike him. Let me verse 9. I'm jumping, please bear with me because of time. In verse 9, his wife said to him, Are you still maintaining your integrity? Case God and die. Okay, nga na fuwa wala shala bakupa ni banani. E kweshe nala mu ipushi. Ponte le nile saba job mufwe. I told you that spiritual people are disciplined people. Look at the way this man answered the wife. He replied, you are talking like a foolish woman. And yet, he was telling the wife that you are a foolish woman. But he put the word like. That is wisdom. You are talking like foolish what? In the actual sense, Job was telling the wife that you are a foolish woman. We receive so many blessings from God Almighty. Why not receiving this one? No one understands what you are doing here on earth apart from you yourself. Are you really, you know, depending on God? Or the life that you are living is pleasing your creator? If the answer is no, anything that you are doing may be the source of your problem. Okay. This is why you need to know what you are doing. So that before you face that calamity, the Spirit of God has already ministered to you that this is the situation on the ground. There you'll be strong. 
No, baka mbe, baka kube pesho ufi, mupashu wa kulondola, baka kube fine, 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 fine. Ta fila isa. Fila isa muku chitika. Ah, thank you, Jesus. We are saying thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my Lord. Ah, imwe. Naba mita vye nchito mule imba. Yes. Can you do that? I'm talking to you, people of God. Can you do that? Eh? Don't lie. You face the reality if you lie. Eh? Can you do that? When things became sour, instead of you complaining, you are saying, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, King of Glory. Thank you. The sickness is all over your house. Everyone is, including yourself. You can't even eat properly, but you are saying, Father, thank you. Oh, Holy Spirit, I thank you. Oh, Jesus, I thank you. Ah, you'll be busy searching what? Solution. Solution. Now, prayer life is a pizza. Punch. The way you used to pray when money was there and the way you are praying now is not the same. You dance like never before inside the church. This time around, you are just clapping like uh, uh, they have planted you on the ground. You can't even move. Job never prayed such kind of prayer. He was thanking God. Even when the wife came to say, why can't you curse your God and die? He said, you are talking like a foolish woman. Know what you are doing, people of God. If relationship has taken away your mind, your life is in danger. If your business has taken away your mind, your life is in danger. Anything that you treasure so much is the source of your problem. Know what you are. Job never, you know, committed any sin. But his personal relationship with God Almighty attracted persecution from the devil. Why are you complaining? Am I a child of God? Why am I going through this? Why is it that things are not moving according to Learn from Job. Learn from who? From Job. Why are you complaining? You don't know what is coming for you. The defender of your case is there to prepare something more than what you had before. Oh God, why? 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 Anything that you treasure so much, Satan will use that thing to destroy you. If Job was like the way you and me living here on earth, where we invest our life in material things, tell me, fish to somebody that party job level. How do you kurika? How do you find a depression? Observe your friends when things, you know, are not moving according to their plan. Look at the way they are dancing and clapping. You know that something is wrong. When things are okay. Ah. Now, when I get that, I will not be Is it body dancing or material? Material is the one which is what? Dancing. A new relationship, a sound relationship has come. Ah, you'll be dancing. When things became sour, you are crying. What are you crying for? Yesterday I was watching football with my son. Then I saw one brother crying. I asked Shadi Azeda, he's, he's crying. He's crying for what? Relationship you have another sour, you lose at a water 
He will not follow those people. He knew that this is, these people are under my feet. He will follow those who are in a good relationship with God Almighty to bring his nonsense so that you lose focus at the end of the day. But if the spirit of God is in you, he will interpret everything to you to say, this is not the end of your life. More are on the way coming to you. This is why you need to know what you are doing. If you don't know what you are doing, your life is in danger. If your relationship with Jesus is questionable, your life is in danger. Man can buy whatever you, you, you want to satisfy your life, but man cannot buy long life, good health, or protection. This is the man God testified that he feared God. He's a blameless man, but the man became sick. He lost all. Everything was what? Lost. But still Job continued worshiping God. Imwe findunga fia bipa. Mule mini nefio mwa imini ne dira fia weme. Hmm? Tell it to I'm talking to you people of God. When things became sour, you change your confession. Bless our hand. Di pe ponchina la pepa. Kan sha ba mpepa ba mpepa shani. Kan sho wo mumfa mumfa wo mfa shani. Fintu fi ari fi ebuino. Kan shi wan shi chin konka. Ni satana. Ule i push en shi. Satana no kwa ba wa di mu shi wo le push en chi wo chi ku konka. Jo buta i push en shi na lu fi anya papel. Aba ka shi fi eba i shi eba ko something. But job, everyone is not going to be able to do it. I want to push it. Okay. I'm going to push it. This is the sticker. This is the sticker. Okay, I'm going to push it. 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 Elisha alikuisa. David alikuisa. T.B. Joshua alikuisa. Why are you asking those questions? Ngabala pepa fie. How do you feel that papa? Aba, papa, le mefi, aba, bene, aba, bonse, ba, ya, aba, ba, di, ba, nga, aba. Eh? Adi, mfu, apo. Achawa ba pale me bonse ba stashani. No manga ba la pepa. No yo inele sa kwa TV Joshua. Kwa di ba na ba mboku kutuishika ma pepe kwa kuti afashani TV Joshua ngani prophet. You are not a child of God. You are not what. It doesn't mean that you know when you become a servant of God then tawa kafwe. No. There is time for everything. Enoch was Elijah's man, but he was taken physically the way I am. Elijah, same thing happened to him. Are you telling me that God is, is, is unfair? No. What is important is to know what you are doing. Because you say, I try to chalo. I try to do chalo, but I try to do chalo. No, because of the power they are holding. What more is Angalanda if you are Kala? We know what our coffee. Put him up, Pepper. Cool out to Kafia Bantu. You were not rich to qualify in Okana for. Please, people of God, know what you are doing here on earth. God created.
created you for a purpose. If your focus is money, marriage, children, you are lost. Satan will catch you unprepared. And you, you make you to lose what? Focus. Instead of you leaving this world in the hands of Jesus, you are going to die in the hands of witch doctors. What a shame. What a shame. If Job were to be like, you know, doubting the love of God upon his life, I'm sure that somebody You don't know what people are doing. Sometimes you see people disappear. No, but it's somewhere. They are consulting witch doctors. And yet, they are claiming to be children of God. No matter what. Know what you are doing here on earth. Don't just live according to what you see. No. Your relationship with Jesus is very, very important. God was busy defending a man who was not even there. He challenged Satan, have you seen my servant? A blameless man. Are you blameless? Are you blameless? Are you blameless? Ha. How many people are blaming you? Hmm? How many people are blaming you? Eh? Uncountable. Are you a child of God? Eh? Since you know that you are a child of God, we thank God for that. We thank God that you know that you are what? But I want you to know that in this life, you must know what you are doing. Don't live according to what you see. Or someone who is unconscious. Be conscious of what you are doing. The life that you are living. Everyone wants to see progress physically. What about spiritually? Oh. There are so many things I can... Listen to verse 4 in chapter 2 as I conclude. Skin for skin, Satan replied, a man will give up all. A man will give up all he has for his own what? Life. Pain in the flesh will make you to change your confession. When you know that pain is in full force and someone is encouraging you to trust Jesus, you answer that person. Tawish befionde umfwa. Tawish befionde tashad. Simple. Thank you. God bless you.